You're listening to Curious and Interesting, a two-minute podcast on what's new and intriguing in the world of advertising research. I'm Dr. Barbara Phillips, editor of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising. Ads with picture puzzles are everywhere. A tube of toothpaste is plugged into an electrical outlet to show it makes your teeth bright and white. A garbage bag stretches to fit an entire couch inside. A croissant and two blueberries are arranged on a plate into a smiling face. These types of picture puzzles are called visual rhetoric, and they've been studied by advertising scholars for many years. We know that visual rhetoric increases consumer attention to advertisements, enhances processing, and leads to positive outcomes for brands. Over those years, researchers have developed at least six different ways to classify these types of picture puzzles. But which one should we use? Human and Albinson decided to find out which classification system worked best for advertising research and practice. The six classification systems were compared on several dimensions. First, they should have enough categories to cover all important differences, but not too many so the differences become trivial. The category definition should be clear and easy to apply. And finally, the classification should distinguish picture puzzle ads from other types of ads and distinguish one type of picture puzzle from another in terms of consumer responses. The authors find that Macquarie and Mix classification system is the best overall and most useful for advertising researchers. This is surprising, as this model was developed over 20 years ago and it was not specifically created for visual images. But it has the best balance of ease of use and usefulness. Finding the best classification system is important because, as the authors quote, the first step of science is to know one thing from another. For more information, this research paper was published in the 2019 issue of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising. Logo design by the artist Stephanie Ma. Logo production by Cody Schumacher of Island Collective. Music and sound editing by Cheshire Creeper.